Hey beautiful people, how are we doing? I hope that everyone is great and fantabulous. Today I'm going to be reviewing the soft, the Anastasia Beverly Hills Soft Glam Eyeshadow Palette. I believe this is um, the most recent eyeshadow palette. This is the box that comes in. This is the box the, uh, the product came in. At the very back of the box you have a diagram for the, for the colors that like in the palette. And um, it has a total of 14 shades. Okay, so this palette has 14 shades. I believe it's retailed for about 50 bucks. Out of the 14 shades, you have uh, five of the shades in here are metallics. So you have five of the 12, sh oh, well, five of the 14 shades in the palette are um, metallics, and the remainder is going to be all matte colors. What I really like about this um, palette is. It, it seems like there are more matte colors and this is what I really like about it. Compared to the Urban Decay Bunch of palette, we have tons of metallics in there. This palette, is, this palette is really cute because you have more mattes in there. So if you want to go for a matte look, um, you have quite a few matte colors to play with as well as a selected few of the, um, the, the metallics. Okay, so this is what I like about it. Another thing I really wish that um, they could have added a little, um, a few different colors because this color orange soda and burnt orange, these two colors kind of look alike, but it looks really neat. It looks really cute. You get a mirror in the palette. You have a mirror right here. This palette is very lightweight compared to the Urban Decay Born to Run palette. This palette is very lightweight. Um, all right. All right, so this this is heavier than this, <laughs> okay? Um, so this this is a, a, a pro on this palette. Okay. Another thing I really like about this palette is each color, each eyeshadow color has a name in the palette. And another thing I don't like about this palette, what I really don't like about this palette is the velvet material it's made of. I think with me using it, it's gonna get dirty real quick. So I don't like the velvet material, although the velvet material, although the velvet material or the sweet material, whatever you want to call it, although it looks really, um, although it feels really, um, it feels really nice rubbing my hands against it, but I think that the, it could get dirty really quickly if you're not really minding what you're doing while you're using it. Um, I'm going to do a swatch with her real quick and then I'm going to move into doing a makeup tutorial using this palette. So first off, I'm going to do a quick swatch with the colors. I'm going to show you, I'm only going to show the eyes, I'm going to show you guys how I do my eyes, the eyeshadow, and I'm going to come back and give you guys my take on this palette. From the look, from the feel of me swatching it, from the feel of me doing my finger swatch, the powders feel very soft. Um, so I really am hoping that, even, I'm hoping that when it comes to putting it on my eye that they blend in very well and they act like they're supposed to. <laughs> um, so. I hope that this this is what happens for this palette. So I already did my brows. I'm just going to carve my brows. And to do that, I am going to go ahead and use the Elegant Pro Conceal in the color Warm Honey. This is what I'm going to use to carve my brows.
ink from the palette while I was using it. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and do my face. I'm gonna do my foundation, highlighter, bronzer, everything. I'm gonna get everything done, and then I'm gonna come right back to show you guys the final look. Um, this is what the palette is looking like right now. As you can see, there seems to be quite a bit of powder everywhere. Okay, so this is what it's looking like. Um, I think this is gonna be a con for me because there's powder everywhere and there was powder everywhere on my face while I'm doing using it as well. So con for this uh, palette is you get a little fallout and there's a full, there's a lot everywhere, but the pigment is pretty, the pigment is pretty strong. Um, the colors are very pretty and I'm really liking the look so far. I just can't wait to get everything done, get my lashes done, everything to see what it's going to turn out to be. So I'm going to be right back guys. Just hang in there. soft lamp palette from Anastasia Beverly Hills, Anastasia Beverly Hills, correction. Um, I think that it's a really good buy. I didn't, I know that it's uh, one of those eyeshadow palettes that are on the pricier side of your budget, but I think it's worth it. If it's worth buying if you don't already have a palette with these colors. Now I think I have some, I have quite a few palettes with these similar colors in it, but um, the only thing I really, the, the only color in here that I don't think I had already was the sultry, pow, the sultry color and the rose pink color. And these two colors are really pretty. Um, but if you don't have a palette with color similar to this, I don't think that it's worth breaking the bank. But it's definitely worth breaking the bank if you're all about um, that high end makeup. Um, so I would say, I would say yay for this one. I think that this palette is Sophie approved. She is Sophie approved, um, and I think that um, Anastasia Beverly Hills kind of did a pretty okay job with the packaging, but for the price, for almost 45 50 bucks, it kind of looks a little cheap. Okay, it kind of looks a little cheap. Okay, compared to my Urban Decay palette. I don't know why, but I just really love my Urban Decay um, palette. But, um, Definitely, I would kind of say it's worth it, um, only if you don't have a palette that is similar to the shades you get in this collection, in this palette. Um, I did not have any problems with this palette apart from the packaging, which was something I discussed earlier, and the amount of fallout. Guys, wait, look, look, look at the mess. This looks like a palette that I use for three months. <laughs> okay, and this is my first time using this palette. So definitely, you will see a lot of fallout when you're using you will get a lot of fallout when you're using it you will see a lot of fallout in the in the um eyeshadows when you're using it you're just gonna have to be very careful not just just you just have you're just gonna have to keep blowing the dust away while using it all right so thank you guys for tuning in thank you for listening i hope you guys like the look i was able to come up with for it for um this palette i really wanted to do something different for it for this palette because quite a few of the um, eyeshadow looks I saw online for the palette they kind of looked a little similar so I really wanted to do something a little different I don't know if it's a good different for you or not so good different for you but this is what I was able to come up with um, this is what I was able to come up with and I hope that you guys are liking this look um, so till then thank you for tuning in thank you for watching my video thank you for clicking my video if you'd like to join the Sophia squad don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell um, so you get updates whenever I post a video on um, and thank you for this constant support I'm kind of new here but thank you for welcoming me and I do hope that you continue to watch my videos and keep in touch don't forget to comment if there are any questions that you have about what I, how I did this tutorial, don't forget to ask questions. I'll be more than willing to answer your question as soon as possible. Okay, so till then, have a wonderful day and stay fabulous. Bye.
my GoPro puts you in the bowl of malt honey. Oops. How is she looking? Okay, alright. That's it for tonight. I gotta go to sleep. <laughs> Thank you.